in our Project PA coverage, we've told you a lot about the current system for child welfare information and how it creates the potential for kids to fall through the cracks when they go from place to place. The Department of Human Services is trying to make one statewide system for all the counties so they connect better. Your CBS 21's Elise Person talking to a lawmaker about why this has not happened yet. Representative Craig Stotts has proposed legislation in each of the last two sessions to set a deadline to get the unified child welfare case management system online. But those bills have gone nowhere. He tells me his motivation came from the death of 14 year old Grace Packer. She was murdered back in 2016 by her adoptive mother and her mother's boyfriend. Now that case highlighted the gaps in the system when a family moves between counties. But now Representative Stotts is telling me the fix is taking far too long. It's been now more than seven years since Grace Packer's horrific, horrific death. So way too much time has elapsed. I think we all agree with that. But the fact of the matter is that every day without action is a day closer to another tragic death of a child in Pennsylvania. Do you believe right now that the current system in place is allowing children to fall through the cracks? It absolutely is. I mean, we've seen it. It's in the news. The uh, Adams County case, there's just another example of the system letting these kids down. And so it was back in 2021 that you guys proposed House Bill 1843. And tell me what happened with that bill, where it went and where it didn't go. The Department of Human Services said that they were doing this on their own. And they were working on this. They agreed it needed to be done. Um, they didn't want to rush it. They wanted to do it right. So I was willing to, okay, good. Let's take them at their word, take it at face value. And uh, the bottom line is nothing's getting done. My initial legislation had a deadline of December 31st of 2022. Uh, my current legislation uh, has a deadline of December 31st, 2023. So that's not going to happen. So what comes next? Where do we go from here? That's a great question. We let Grace Packer down, but we don't need to let other kids down. And we can do that by addressing the shortfalls and the loopholes that allowed this to happen in the first place. But I think we need to collectively put some pressure on the, uh, um, the committee. And DHS tells us that the COVID-19 pandemic is really what delayed some work on this project, the ECM system getting underway. What would be your response to them now saying the hope is for it to get underway in late 2024? I have no reason to believe that. Uh, it, it hasn't happened yet. So I think we do need legislation now to, to make that happen. Yeah, I will admit early on, I was like, okay, it sounds like they're going to do this on their own. That's fine. Uh, but here we are talking about 20. 23 and 2024. Uh, I just think we need to, uh, we need deadlines. What would be your argument to someone saying we want to get it done right and we don't want to rush the process? And again, I bought into that uh, three years ago, but how long is it going to take? Representative Stotts says it's very unlikely the bill gets taken up by committee before the end of this year. So he says we can expect to see an amended House Bill 321 in the new year to set a new deadline for the system to be online by the end of next year. I'll send it back over to you. Great work as always, Elise. Folks, if there's a part of the child welfare system you think is a problem, let us know. Let's work together on this. Here is the tip line, 717-857-3613.